All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle, and I know, I know, I know, I know. My videos have been very sporadic, but so has my life, <laughs> all right? So, uh, yeah, sorry, but deal with it. Grow up. Buy a helmet, okay? Uh, anyways, yeah, so um, you all know by now, probably, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know I collect these, what we call, generally, round body paddle locks. They're generally round, but they got a flat bottom on them. Now, this is one that... I normally wouldn't buy, but it was turned on to me by a friend, Jay, Jay Gabriel. He pointed it out to me, so I went ahead and picked it up. Little did I know, he ordered one for me. So, uh, Jay gets to keep that one. <laughs> I got one anyways. But thanks anyways, Jay. Uh, I always appreciate when someone uh, uh, gives me a heads up when they see another round body paddle lock like this. But yeah, this super cheap paddle lock, uh, but this one did cost like... 13 bucks, 12.99, which is pretty freaking high for a lock like this. But again, it's for my collection, so whatever. Warded diecast padlock, sleigh maker. Uh, and another thing, I think if you uh, collect stuff, normally you would keep it in the package. But me, not me. Uh, I collect the locks. I don't really care about the package. Not that. Uh, sentimental and I'm trying not to flip that over because there's a bunch of religious hoopla on the back of this for some reason and uh, I'm not a religious person so don't really care about that so I'm gonna eject that <laughs> that's how I roll all right like to uh like to stick around in reality myself anyways boom oh yeah super super duper cheap my goodness i'm not even sure what locks it because it looks like there's nothing on that side okay so it's all down here on this side of the shackle must be some kind of slit in it yeah good lord this is cheap uh, and it's one-sided, as you can tell by the by the key. So, if I remember, and I went ahead and took a piece of coat hanger, metal coat hanger, and locks like this, I think, back in the day, we were able to just take a piece of coat hanger. See how I bent the end? But I don't know if it's going to work or not. But I figured, oh, did I have it? Nope. You just got to find that. Find out where that spring is. I thought it was right there. Maybe not. I don't think it's that deep. I feel like I'm right there. There it goes. <laughs> See that? I remember as a kid we used to pop locks like that with a piece of bent coat hanger. So obviously it does work. <laughs> there you go. Alright, now also wanted to try some of these right here. These warded lock picks. Probably this dude right here, I would imagine, because it's one-sided. Let's try it. Again, we gotta find that spring right there. So yeah, right down on the side somewhere, and the warded, it's really just different uh, wards in there, like going this way, and you got to get the key. The key would go down in there, obviously, and one of these fingers on the key, this pick is acting like one of those fingers, you see? It's either that one, that one, or that one, but that's as simple as it can get. These are probably the warded locks. I think might be some of the simplest locks ever made. I'm not positive, but I think they are. If not, they're like a, a, a second because uh, they're super, super simple. If you know of a more simple design, let us know in the comments, please. Because I'm pretty sure the warded lock is right up there on the top. All right, but there you go. Again, Jay, thanks for uh, letting me know about the lock. I will add it to my round body paddle lock collection. And uh, there it is. The Slave Maker 
Round body. New old school. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, that's okay. You don't have to. But if you want to, do it. <laughs>